Okay, so this is the Elma Lock L5, and I'm going to show you how all of this works. And to get at this, you swing everything out of the way, and uh, I'm going to talk about what's in here. So I'm going to need you to come close in to this. So what you see right here are two what are called loopers. And it's the way they cross over like this that makes the chain stitch. So when we thread them, you want to be sure uh, that the timing shows that they are crossing over together, not suddenly one here and one here. That means the timing is totally off. Uh, but that's what we're going to do is uh, thread them that way. So there is another video that shows how to change color, uh, but I'm going to thread from scratch. So we thread the two loopers first, and we're gonna follow the color chart that is down here on the front. And I'm going to start with this one, which is the outer and the looper. Those two things are the loopers. Then we have two needles on here, so I'm gonna be referring to them as the looper threads and the needle threads. And so we're gonna come out here, and we are at... We're going to go with green. We're not going to use brown because it is an additional fifth thread, and I'm not going to use that one. So we're going to use green. Pull it in here. Come down into green. Come around, just the way you do in all of these. See, around here and into that. So it's the same as what those other machines are. Follow down into green here. Yeah, where's green? Green is over here, so it comes straight across, and then I'm looking, I'm going to look down here to see where the rest of it is, so the rest of it, and if you can see in here, I have to pull this back to get at that right there, and so I lock that into here, and then I push it forward, and I do it like this so that this looper thread has to go over the top of the looper behind it. And then I pull it to the back and lay it off to the side. I'm gonna close this, lay it off to the side, and then I go to the next one. Next one's here, I'm doing yellow. Actually, this can go in here. This one could have gone in there too. Here we go and yellow, and inside, make sure it pulls all the way in, yellow, that looks like that's yellow here, I'm going to let this run behind the other one so it doesn't interfere, yellow, this appears to be the beige, which is this one. It's this. So their colors are kind of weird here. So we want to go with the bright yellow up here. And I'm going to let that all run behind. Into here, into here. And then the way I thread this one is I make sure that it, the other one is out of the way. And then I'm going to thread it there. Make sure it's pulled behind. And then I want to be sure that, you see now it's coming right over the top. That's exactly where I want it. I want this thread over the top going to the back. Okay, so now we have the loopers threaded and we leave those free and we're going to go to the needle threads. And the other machine on the other side of the table is set up for three thread, which means it only has one needle. Uh, this one has four thread, and that extra one is like a safety stitch. So we come around, down. It looks like we're, we're coming into here as well. And then you see we're coming across here, across here, and down. And so that is here. I have to see where it lays on this. There's a hole there, goes through the hole. 
and then goes through here because I'm looking down here to see where it is. Right. It misses it and goes to this one. And the blue one is, blue one is the left one. You drop the foot down. You can see. Okay, so I'm getting it in there. Put it back. Lift up the foot. Okay, so that is that one. And then we're going to do the red one, which is here. That's red. <laughs> and so all these things do is smooth out the thread. Okay, and so the red apparently comes straight across. I think it goes back behind there. Yeah, I think it goes behind and into there. And then we come back and we crisscross and it looks like it's going behind. So I'm gonna follow exactly what the diagram is telling me. And it goes into that one. Drop the foot down again so I can get out the back needle. And I need the right glasses for this needle. There we go. Okay. Okay, so all of the threads are now free of each other. <laughs> and we're gonna drop the foot down on top of them and run a test. I need to have a chain. And it would help if I turned it on. Okay, if you can see over here is the chain. It needs to make a chain. And so we can adjust these tension wheels according to how the chain is looking and how it is on the fabric. So I'm gonna close this, and there is a knife right here that goes up and down. And so if I have to, I usually have to keep an eye on what's, what's behind the knife. So I push this knob and I can blow out all that extra stuff that's behind the knife because that will uh, not jam it up, but it'll make it so that it doesn't cut that well. And so the nature of these machines is that they cut an edge all in one time. These are spring-loaded. You don't need to lift the foot. Once you get everything threaded, I just put the fabric right up against the knife. Feed it in. So this particular machine will do a four thread and a five thread. The trouble with the four thread is that, I don't know if you can see this hole right here, once you get the needle threaded, it has the thread has to go down through the hole, pick it up underneath, and it does make it more complicated. The five thread of this is this extra bar that's here, but this particular machine doesn't really like being four thread or five thread, so we're using it as a three thread. We've blocked off um, this particular wheel. We still cover all the, um, the color coding as we go. So now it is has a nice chain and I don't pull hard on it. I just let the chain come out. And we have a sample. And so what I'm gonna do is put it right up against the, um, the knife, spring loaded, lift it up, put it right up against the knife, give it a little help. Make sure that the chain doesn't flip around. Okay, now we're cutting. And when I stop, I don't, I don't slow down a little bit, don't pull on it. Let the chain come all the way out, and you can actually do this. And make sure at the end you've still got a chain and you're done. I don't usually use this because I, it's in my way and I can't really see what's going on in here. Okay? All right.